The Shahed 285 is the lightest dedicated attack helicopter in the world. It has an empty weight of 820 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 1.45 tons. The helicopter is 11.84 meters long, 38 feet 10 in, 2.78 meters wide, 9 feet 1 in, and 3.47 meters high, 11 feet 5 in, and the main rotor diameter is 10 meters. Instead of two pilots like the other attack helicopters, the Shahed 285 is operated by a single pilot. He sits in a cockpit with windshields in the front and sides. The cockpit has a relatively heavy frame, as seen on the Western attack helicopters. The pilot's field of view is significantly limited by small flat windshields, and the rear view is completely blocked by the fuselage. It is thought that the cockpit is well modernized with digital functionality and multifunction displays to ease the pilot's workload. The power of this small helicopter is powered by a Rolls-Royce Model 250C20J turboshaft engine producing 420 horsepower. According to the report, the Shahed 285 can reach a top speed of 240 km per hour, 150 miles per hour, a range of 875 km, 544 miles, a service ceiling of 460 meters, a third time 650 feet, and a rate climb of 7.6 meters per sec, 1 500 feet min. The Shahed 285 variant, also known as the AH-85A, is designed for Army aviation and is armed with two 70mm NR and seven 62mm PKT machine guns in a mobile turret. However, the mobile turret was later abandoned and the machine gun was firmly fixed. Modification AH-85C designed for the Iranian Navy. Instead of a machine gun installation in the bow, there is a search radar. On the pylons of the sea helicopter AH-85C, two Kausar anti-ship missiles with a launch range of up to 20 kilometers are suspended. The weight of the missile is 100 kilograms. Each RCC carries the 29 kilogram warhead. Overall, the Shahed 285 is a fairly rudimentary light attack helicopter. Its combat qualities when used against enemies with modern military air defenses are highly questionable. The Iranians themselves believe that the Shahed 285 should only be used to conduct reconnaissance operations and to act against weakly protected targets.